Welcome to Hardcore Garage. Man, has a lot of stuff been happening around here lately. <laughs> That's some good coffee, and I made it. Built, not bought. <laughs> what a ridiculous statement. But, <laughs> in the last two weeks, I've sold two trucks and bought two trucks. We sold the 93, picked up the 89 Cameo. Uh, the following week, I sold the 07 Dodge Ram quad cab work truck and two days later I picked up an 03 S10 extended cab four wheel drive and that has become the new work truck. <laughs> um, more projects, more projects, more stuff to order and there are lots of stuff that is on order right now that, that we have to deal with. I want to try to keep this moderately short um, because of what I want to do in this video is test some products. Uh, that was an, another new thing that has happened. I actually, um, a, a manufacturer or, or seller, I guess is what we'll call them, um, an Amazon seller reached out to me and asked if I would do a product review on some of their LED headlights, which is very interesting since I'm not a big fan of LED headlights, so it should be a good test. I'll try to be analytical and open-minded about this as much as I can. They're going to go on the Cameo. That's really the, the easiest truck that I can pull apart right now that's that's here in my own garage <laughs> that won't cause any issues. Um, so we're going to do that today. We're going to, we're going to get into the box. What's in the box, even though I've already told you, I kind of screwed that up, didn't I? <laughs> oh, well, I've got other boxes that we've got steel rubber products box down there waiting for me to open too. And I, I don't think that's going to get open today, but it's coming and that'll probably be the next couple of days. We'll try to get a couple extra videos going this week to get caught back up on the timelines. So with that being said, I think we need to hit the garage. What do you guys think? Let's go. Well, I kind of already screwed up and told you what was in the box. So that uh, defeats the whole, what's in the box? We'll just get right into it and open the box. Product testing. That's something I've always wanted to do even from the very get-go when I started the channel. I, I was hoping that I would get some kind of product testing going. Uh, gives you some content, gives you something to do, um, lets people know if the products are any good or not. And that's kind of the, the, the hard part about this too is, is I, I mean, you don't wanna to be too hard on somebody that's sending you some free shit, but you don't wanna mislead people into buying something that may be shit. So we will tread lightly on this and, and we'll see where we go from there. Here's what I have here, a black shiny box inside of another box. Now I wish that the guy told me the name of his Amazon account. I don't know if this is it here, V-I-N-U-X Plaza. I'll, I'll read into this a little more once I get into it and, and try to find out. Um, that would have been really nice for him to have it labeled so I could send you guys to his Amazon store or whatever, right? Okay, so these are called 4x4 FLSTC, 5x7 sealed LED lamp, sealed beam LED lamp. Shows the instructions here. Um, don't have my reading glasses on, but doesn't look like there's much there. Uh, it appears to be a direct plug-in. I'm hoping that's what it is because that's one of the things that really screws me up with LED lights, when I see people doing it, it's like almost instantly, I know their next post is gonna be, why don't my lights work? <laughs> so let's pop these open here and take a look at what we got here. Kind of an interesting design that they have. Um, I, I don't know what you wanna call that. I don't even know if I'm holding them in the right direction. It's kind of a cat eye and some other lights there. This is a high end, a low beam bulb. Uh, this is glass, or I'm sorry, this is plastic here. Pretty sure that case, it feels metal. Maybe I need to put a piece of, or a, a magnet on it, see if it's aluminum or steel. I mean, there's some weight to them, so that's nice. And it's gonna be kind of an interesting look, especially if you're into the whole blacked out front end, which I'm not really that big into it, but on a Cameo, usually the front end is pretty blacked out. So that's gonna be cool. The other one that they offered had the turn signals in there, and I thought that was a bit much. You could actually see the yellow in them, so I decided to, to try to test these ones instead. So, 
With that being said, let's back this truck up here and throw them in there and let's do some testing. All right, we're gonna get a good look at the lights there. I probably ought to turn them on so we can see what they look like right now, huh? If you remember the last video, this thing's kind of gutted. <laughs> so we'll plug them in right here. And you can see those are the factory headlights there. I could probably turn off the lights in here and see if they were any brighter, but they don't look very bright at all. Let's go ahead and kill the lights just real quick. Not too cloudy or anything, and I believe those are a Sylvania, probably a factory headlight. But that gives us an idea of what we're looking at. We will switch one out, and we'll do one-on-one -on -one and try and see what we see. First thing you're going to want to do is open your hood. <laughs> you guys know that. Then you're going to pull off your headlight. And uh, these are Phillips head screws. They're supposed to be little torque screws, but this thing has been uh, molested quite a few times. So we'll get a Phillips head screwdriver, get one of them headlights out of there, and try this out. Most of these headlights have four screws, two across the top, two across the bottom. This one's missing this bottom one. I can see it right off the bat. This needs all new headlight buckets, everything on this truck. Hopefully I can find all that stuff. Pull this down, a little twist there, and your turn signal bulb is going to come out. Then we are going to have four Phillips head screws holding this headlight in, but it doesn't look like all of those screws are there either, guys. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You may be able to just pull that down right there and switch the headlight out without taking those bottom screws off, I would say. Hopefully I'm not blocking too much here with my body. I'm trying to do this. Old crappy rusty ass screws. There we go. And that is out and these just have a plug on the back side. Pretty simple. Three, little three prong plug there. Hopefully the other one plugs in that easy. Venue X Plaza, I believe is the, the name of this guy's Amazon store. Okay, so they have a little bit of a wire thing here. I'm not sure what this is for. Uh, there's, yeah. This looks like this should plug right in there like our old one did. Direct plug in, shove that back in there, peel that off, uh, I think the little clip goes on the bottom, then we'll put the headlight ring back in here, it's not really lining up perfect, but we'll see. Now these things probably aren't adjusted for crap, but that's an easy, easy swap there for headlights. Let's go ahead and throw that ring back on here. When I do this, I will change all those bulbs. Everything's in here correctly. And that we have all the screws. <laughs> yeah, these things are just destroyed, really. Destroyed. Don't even really need to put one back in there. It ain't gonna hold anyway, is it?
I don't know how straight that is, but they are in there. So let's drop this hood down. See what we got so far. Well, that's a much cleaner light. I'll say that. Let's kill these lights. Uh, you can see it's a much cleaner, bluer, whiter light than the uh, driver side one there, which has a yellow tint to it. Um, most of the, the silver stars that I use are, are a lot wider light also i wish i had one of them in comparison to this but i'm pretty impressed with the pattern i'm gonna flip this camera around well, i'm gonna do the, the brights first and i'll flip the camera around so you can see the pattern on the ground and i'm sure it needs adjusted but let's see what the brights look like can you tell the difference i think it lit that extra <laughs> extra bulb there pretty sure anyway let's flip the camera around and take a look at what we see here on the ground kind of an interesting pattern there on the right hand side we're going to need to pull this out at night and really check it out Now, if this stuff is truly just plug and play, that's pretty cool. It's like I said, all I ever hear about is people's problems with LED lights after they've installed them for whatever reason. People just can't seem to get them right or something. I don't know what it is, guys. But it's annoying. <laughs> that's why my best advice when people ask about leds i tell them don't <laughs> hopefully this will change my mind honestly like i was saying with the uh front end on these cameos being mostly black that honestly doesn't look bad um Usually I'm a little bit turned off by the insect eye looking headlights, but that honestly isn't so bad. They, they need adjusted. I can see the gaps and stuff like that really bugs me, but <laughs> nothing is adjusted properly on this car right now. So let's turn them lights on. We'll kill the lights in here and see what we got. Looks pretty good. Yeah, those throw out a nice, clean light. I'm kind of digging them, guys. Just like the second gens. You're never too old to learn or like new things. Let's kick on some brakes here and see what we got. Uh, Dad? Our is on top of the garage door. So, there's your brights. And I just been informed that my cat is up on top of the garage door there. I don't know if you guys can see him. She's a crazy cat up there. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that looks good. Let's turn this camera around and look at this light pattern that we got on the ground here. Kind of an interesting light pattern there. Lighting up the back of the garage pretty good for it being daytime. We're going to have to go for a cruise at night and see what these do on a back road. I'm pretty impressed so far, though. Well, honestly, I'm pretty impressed with the look. Um, way better than what I thought they were going to be. The black blends in nice. Uh, having the having the round bulb still a little bit strange for me, you know. I'm, I'm old school, square, LEDs, round bulbs is kind of a newer thing. Projection beams, whatever, you know. So that's something that I, that I might have to get used to, but from a distance you don't really see it nearly as much. And I did find the specs and I want to give them to you and I'm going to add links to these and the ones with the turn signals, and I did find out they're $85.99.
Uh, I don't know if that's just ship price or what. Still below 100 bucks for a pair of decent headlights. If you're into the custom headlight thing, that should be should be pretty cool. Uh, Osram LED chips. Not sure what that means. They are a 6,000K pure white light with 8,000 lumens on high beam and 56,000, 56, I'm sorry, 5,600 lumens on low beam. They are 110 watt, uh, 12 volt or 24 volt. Housing is aluminum alloy and they have a lifespan of 50,000 hours. Uh, compatible with trucks, off-roads, four-wheel drive tractors, ATV boats, UTEs, whatever. They measure 7.87 inches long and 5.63 inches wide. There you go. Uh, they did fit the S10, obviously, so that was nice. I'm not going to lay it up here because it'll probably just fall right off, won't it? So, it, uh, yeah, I'll just hold on to it. How about that? So, if you're looking to get some LEDs, check out this seller. Um, I'll have the link. I'm going to put his name up here. I'm pretty sure that's the right name unless I, get, unless I hear back from him before I get this posted tomorrow. Then we're going to be in some trouble, ain't we? <laughs> I'm impressed, honestly. We're going to take her for a ride tonight, and I'll have to have an update video, I don't know, in a week or so. Give me some time to run these things. Make sure that we're not going to have any issues with them. We'll have an update. But for as far as I'm concerned right now, if you're into that look, I mean, it, it seems like a quality light plug and play. They did work so far, didn't have any issues. Try them out. Reach out to the guy if you want to check him out. Let him know that you saw the product on Hardcore Garage. Maybe he'll give you a discount. That'd be really nice of him now, wouldn't it? We didn't discuss that. I should have. Should they, they should at least give 10% discount for anybody that mentions Hardcore Garage. Let's push that and see what happens. <laughs> Appreciate you guys following along. This is going to be a great project here for my daughter. Uh, we have all kinds of plans. It just needs to all come together. Hopefully, we get some wheels ordered for this thing real soon and uh, start making it look a lot better. Y'all take it easy. Keep on following. Share, like, comment. You know the routine. Keep on trucking.